Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be opening up some packages. One's all the way from California, and two of them are from other YouTube channels. So I can't wait to get into those. And I'm just going to say, guys, it's going to be a great day in the knife shop today. I got my coffee, and we're going to be talking about some knives. And I just want to give you an update on my two grandsons. They're here. They are were born yesterday, about 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's just, uh, they're beautiful, beautiful guys. Here they are here. Here's some pictures of uh, my other grandkids also holding them. Just beautiful, beautiful. Uh, just blessed, guys, blessed. I want to thank y'all for all the prayers from, for my daughter-in-law and for my two grandsons. It, uh, God is good. God is good. But uh, anyway, guys, thank y'all for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, this one here comes all the way from uh, Mr. Hillbilly Ridge Outdoors. Y'all go over there and check him out. He, he, he's got some great knives. He does some great reviews. Just a good old guy. He really is. He's, he wanted to do a sticker swap. I've already sent him a, a, a package. So he should be... He, I think he got it yesterday because I think... Uh, yeah, he sent me an email thanking me for it. So uh, this is his sticker here i'm gonna be putting it up on the wall of fame and let's see what he says doc first of all thank you for your service to our great country my buddy i appreciate that man love your channel thanks for doing the sticker swap god bless mickey he'll be the ridge outdoors hoorah mickey i appreciate this sticker buddy i love your channel also it's a great looking sticker though i love the mountains in the background love it buddy appreciate the sticker man Mickey sent that sticker all the way from Crittenden, Kentucky. 530 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Mickey, I appreciate that sticker, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. And Mickey, already got you up on the wall of fame, buddy. Appreciate the sticker, man. I'm glad you enjoy the, the little Victoria Knox I sent you, man. Appreciate it, buddy. And this package comes all the way from Mr. Travis from Winchester, Tennessee. Y'all might know him as Travis the Case Guy. I sent him a, we, he wanted to do a sticker swap. I sent him a sticker and I also sent him a, uh, a trapper knife with sheath that I found in uh, Panama City or near Panama City. There he is right there, Travis the Case Guy. Y'all go check him out. He he has a lot of good looking case knives, y'all. Really does. He's a great old guy. I wish I could have met him up there at uh, the Atlanta Blaze show. He was up there. Um But we'll 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 get together soon, buddy. But he sent me these too. Wow. He sent me lots of them. <laughs> I'll be giving them out. I'll be giving these out on my next uh, auction. August 5th, I'll send some some along with uh, the knife that y'all buy. Or knives, I should say. Appreciate that too. Land of the free because of the brave. I love that, Travis. Thank you for this, buddy. Let's see what he wrote. Hello, brother Kevin. I hope this package finds you well. First and foremost, thank you for your service, my friend. Well, thank you, Travis. Without brave and women, without brave men and women such as yourself, our wonderful country would not be where it is today. Also, thank you for your willingness to sticker swap, and thank you for the very thoughtful gift of that beautiful yellow carbon steel trapper and sheath. They were such a blessing, brother. I have enclosed some gifts for you as well. I had these on me at the Blade Show Atlanta. With plans to meet you in person, but never got the chance. The knives are a 1985 Camillus military knife. Wow, buddy. Thank you so much. Like the one you recently modified, and also a 1980s USA made rigid trapper. Research goes to show that Case actually made them for rigid, which I thought was very cool. Hope you enjoy the gifts, brother. I also enclosed some stickers. I gave you a few extra so you can give your friends at a future monthly eating. Well, we're going to be uh, 
eating actually not this wednesday but next wednesday so about a week from now so i'll pass some out buddy that all have that y'all have it's such a cool thing that y'all do and i really enjoy those videos thank you for your friendship brother and god bless travis hashtag knife brotherhood strong travis i appreciate this thoughtful uh the letter you wrote man appreciate you taking the time out to write this buddy thank you so much Appreciate you thanking me for my service. I appreciate your, your channel, man. I love all those case knives that, that you show. I really do. And I appreciate these stickers as well, buddy. I'm going to look at these knives real quick. This is a trapper. Man, that's pretty, ain't it? I love that wood. That blade don't look like it's ever been used, guys. Travis, this is so nice, man. Thank you so much. I don't own a, a rigid. I believe I just found a rigid in a pawn shop. It had a bunch of brass on it. I should have picked it up. But this blade don't look like it's ever been used. Got great snap, too. Travis, thank you so much for this, buddy. I don't believe this is my first one I ever owned. Beautiful, Travis. Thank you so much, buddy. Rigid right there. And this must be the pattern number for rigid or something very cool thank you travis i appreciate that buddy and i love these knives i really do really do look at that that blade has barely been used if at all 1985 camillus Great snap. Got your flat tip screwdriver, bottle opener. It's got your can opener. Have y'all seen the main blade? That joke is pretty, ain't it? That's how they were supposed to look. Fat up here at the top. And that punch blade is absolutely perfect. Love it. Travis, thank you so much, man. This thing is in pristine condition, buddy. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate this so much. I love these knives, man. Appreciate it, Travis. But guys, if y'all haven't seen Travis, the case guy, or Hillbilly Ridge outdoors, y'all go check them out. They're just a couple of great dudes showing some awesome knives. Just good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you, Travis. And again, buddy, when we meet next Wednesday, uh, I'll 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 pass these out, buddy. Sure will. Sure will, buddy. Thank you so much for this. Travis sent those knives and stickers all the way from Winchester, Tennessee, 284 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Travis, I appreciate those knives and stickers, buddy. I appreciate your channel, and I already got you up on the wall of fame, buddy. Thank you so much again. God bless you, man. Guys, I just want to zoom out a little bit and just want to thank everyone again for all these gifts that I've received. It's almost been a year, guys. August the 17th will be a year. And I'm going to do a little special on that here next month. But I got a package from England. I got packages from Canada. But from the far west in the United States to the Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Midwest, the Northeast, the South, just from all over guys. I just want to thank all y'all so much for the gifts guys. God bless all y'all. Okay now guys we are going to be opening up the package all the way from Eureka, California. Dave has sent me some packages before. 
I'm gonna see why he sent this time. Wow, guys. Marine Corps shirt. Is it like a fixed blade? Look here, y'all. For Wade. I can't wait to give this to him next week. Ain't that awesome? <laughs> Dave, thank you so much for this. He's going to absolutely love this. He really is. All right, let's see what Mr. Dave says. All right, June 30th, 2024, Eureka, California. What's up, Doc? Hey, Kevin, I always enjoy your videos. Thanks again for your service, and God bless. Well, thank you, Dave. Just a few things I found for you and a couple of things for others. The Zippo is for Mr. Way. There's a knife in there for, I think, Mr. Drew, who was looking for Craftsman. I picked it up just a couple of days before that video, but have not had a chance to clean it up. Perhaps you can be so kind of clean it and send it along for me. Thanks in advance. Got, got the shirt at our local fair when the Marines had a booth. Hope the hat fits your big old melon. <laughs> also got some picks in there. They're good. For the tight spots, especially with steel wool. I have some I have some for you and ran out of room in the box. <laughs> Finally I have a favor to ask and y'all know it when you see it, but can you work your magic on that old western I found for only fifteen dollars? And I know it's asking a lot, but it could use a sheet. Anyway, that's enough for now. I hope this letter finds you and yours in good health. God bless and thanks for your service. Your friend, Dave. P.S. Today, my older son turned 30, Alex. Well, happy birthday, Alex. Belated. And Dave, thank, thank you so much for this. I, I love all, all, all this swag, buddy. Thank you so much. And Wade is going to love this. I am going to open it up and see what's inside, but uh, I can't wait for him to get it. But I love this hat, man. Look at the, 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 the handkerchief, too. Does that have something on it? No. But thank you for this, buddy. I love the camo, and I love the hat, too. Simplify, hoorah, your friend Dave. I love it, Dave. We well, thank you, man, so much. Very cool. Love that, man. And there's the pics right there. Very cool. Yeah, they do look like they can get some tight spots. I love it, man. And this is the blade from Mr. Drew. Yeah, I think uh, me and him traded, I think. And I'll have to get his address. Drew, if you're out there, buddy, email me again if you don't mind. Mr. Drew Barker, I think it is. I'll have to look it up in my emails. But I'll get this to him, Dave. I sure will, man. And this is the Western. And this is the shirt. Man, I love that. Look at that. Pain is weakness leaving my body. Yes, sir. Let's see here, right here. Pain is weakness leaving the body. Hoorah. It's got the Eagle Globe and Anchor. This is the back of the shirt. And this is the front of the shirt. It's got it right there over your left breast right there. Thank you, buddy, so much. I love his shirt, man. Love it. Let's see the, the Western here. Yeah, it'll clean up good, buddy. It'll clean up good. Yes, sir. 
and the sheath I might have to send it to somebody to get a sheath made yeah we can clean this up with no problem I'll get that done here real soon now let's see the craftsman for Mr. Drew wow I've never seen one like this ain't that awesome Kind of like the 897 UH, I think it is. It's like a serpentine uh, stopman. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Looks like the blade had been uh, broken. They redone it. But I've never seen one like that before. So Schrade made this for them. I'll clean it up, though. I sure will. And we'll get it sent over to Drew. Got his name on it. Now let's check this zipper out for Mr. Wade. Wow, check that out, y'all. Wade is going to absolutely love this. He is. Can't wait for him to see it. I'll be going next week, next Wednesday. We got a little meet up. And I'm going to give it to him just like that. But Wade's going to absolutely love this, y'all. Cannot wait to give it, give it to him. From Dave from Eureka, California. Hoorah. Thank you, Dave. Dave sent those knives and gifts all the way from Eureka, California. His third package, 2,912 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Dave, appreciate these gifts, buddy. Appreciate the knives. I really enjoy cleaning up that Western fixed blade. God bless you, man. And I'll Appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, buddy. Hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take this over there on the fiber wheel and just see if I can clean up. That patina is really in that blade. I don't know if all of that's going to come out. You really don't want it all out. You want to show how old it is. And I can get the wire brush on that right there, and I can get the wire brush on that. Now, that's going to clean up like new money right there now. But we're going to leave a lot of that patina in that blade simply because... Is needs to be there to show us age.
Mm-hmm. Nicely wedge on it. And it's sharp. And it's sharp. See how sharp it is? Pretty sharp, ain't it? Beautiful knife. I'm gonna wax the, the handle for him real quick. This knife's in really great shape. Get this five dollars a can. Mama's Outback Leather Wax at Shankle Homestead Leather Works. Great family from Ohio. Check them out. I'm gonna hit with some flits now. Back here on this back side. Now I'm going to put a little bit of hand bone blades, blade wax on there. He makes it himself from mineral oil and beeswax. Y'all check him out. Hand bone blades. I'm just going to put a little blade wax on there. It helps prevent corrosion. Just keeps it from, from resting up. Again, hand on blades, blade wax. I love his little logo, his maker's mark. I love it. Okay, Dave, here it is, buddy. Hope I made you proud. That, that little white spot come off of there real good. But this one here, guys, is a Boulder, Colorado. It's got a patent number on there. But it's the uh, age of that knife. I might go into my other, in my house and get my other book. I'm going to see if this one has it in there. This knife right here, guys. Again, this is the 13th edition. It's a good one. But this one here, just like this, got Western Boulder, Colorado, and the patent number down there. This knife was made between 1931 and 1950. Hoorah. So well, you're looking at a minimum 74-year-old knife. So the youngest it could be is 74 years old, and the oldest it could be is 94 years old. Ain't that awesome? Good looking knife, but it cleaned up like a champ now. That wax just conditions the, the leather down here and it shines it up. Beautiful, beautiful knife. There's a big old bird on top of this 
building here. Y'all ain't walking around. I'm afraid to go outside. Might be Batman. <laughs> Golly. Anyway. Yeah, it's a big old bird. This is a beautiful knife, y'all. Dave, I appreciate you sending this in to me, man. And I will check into getting you a sheath made for it, buddy. You've sent me so much stuff. But look at that pommel, y'all. See, these pommels are pinned in, too. Again, 1930 to 1951. Y'all haven't got you one of these books. The 13th, 14th, and 15th editions are the best. The 15th being the best has the most information in it. But, uh, it's a great knife. It really is. But, as I was saying, a lot of the patina is left in the blade. That wax conditioned the leather down here. That white spot come off of there. It looks very good. It's just a beautiful knife. And it's sharp as a razor. It's got that old carbon steel in it. Hence the patina. If you see a a blade patinaing up like that, you know it's got good carbon steel in it. Beautiful knife. Again, Dave, thank you so much, buddy, for sending this in. I appreciate all the gear that you sent me. Appreciate the Zippo for Wade, and I appreciate that knife from Mr. Drew. I'll, I'll get those to them. I appreciate it, buddy, so much. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to thank Mr. Travis and Mr. Mickey again for sending me those stickers. And, Travis, thank you for those knives, buddy. Again, guys, if y'all haven't checked out uh, Travis the Case Guy and Hillbilly Ridge Outdoors, y'all go check those channels out. Y'all give them a subscription and uh, tell, tell them that the doctor says hello. I appreciate it so much. And, Dave, buddy, thank you for sending this knife in and letting me clean this up. Again, guys, the youngest it could be is 74 years old, and the oldest it could be is 94 years old. So a uh, very, very old knife. A western Boulder, Colorado, with the patent number on the bottom of it. Beautiful, beautiful knife. The leather handles, that wax, just conditioned that really well, and it shined it up as well. And hand bone blades, blade wax, really conditioned that blade as well. You need to do that probably once every two to three weeks if you're not using it. If you're using it every day, you need to apply it every day. Just put a coat on there and wipe it off. But a uh, very, very good knife. Very good knife. Thank you again, Dave. And guys, I just want to thank y'all again for sending prayers to my for my grandson and my, my daughter-in-law. Everything is good. They're probably going to be coming home tomorrow. I can't wait to get them home. Um, got to hold them yesterday. Very, very sweet little boys. They really are. And my grandbabies got to hold them. Their brother and sisters. Um, they really enjoyed it. They really did. Especially the girls. They just wanted to touch all over them. <laughs> but uh, thank y'all again for all the prayers. But anyway, guys, again, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to say God bless y'all. Until we meet again, guys. Y'all be like, good knife. Stay sharp. I'm the knife doctor On the road Saving old blades So many stories told USA made Fixing those springs Handles repair They shine and they sing Three markets, pawn shops Antique stores, searching for treasure, always room for more.